Thank you for choosing Access On Demand. Access believes in continuing education, and we create content to empower you to learn and grow anytime, anywhere. Let's get started. Thanks for joining us for our overview of Access's Business Intelligence Clinical Reports Tool. I'm Laura Barnett, Vice President of Interoperability Sales at Access. I'm excited to introduce you to what I think is the most important way for any operator, clinician, or financial manager to start their day in home health, hospice, and home care, looking at the health of your organization. The first of our three-part series on report management, also referred to as business intelligence, is focused on the dashboard showing clinical performance, which is shown here. Access Business Intelligence users have the control and flexibility to review your data any way you want. Data can be viewed by branch or by payer source and can be further grouped by Medicare, managed care, commercial insurance, and even by case manager. Users can look at this at different reporting times, quarterly, monthly, weekly, or daily. In this video, we're going to review the data on a monthly basis. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is our scorecard. Our visual learners will notice immediately we have a fair amount of green, and that's a really good sign. This scorecard shows that month over month, there are several positive trends. Anything neutral is represented in blue, and any negative trends are represented in red. The purpose of this dashboard is to help users manage risk. Mitigating risks is how organizations make sure they're achieving excellent clinical outcomes for their patients. For example, tracking hospitalization for diabetic complications, falls, and associated infections. In this dashboard, those all have decreased. However, the data does show that COVID-19 is still a concern. Users can even drill down to see which patients are at risk for COVID. Let's also take a look at depression risk. Access added this to the clinical risk stratifications because of the prevalence of depression in home health patients at three times the rate of most of the environment. This is huge as providers look at value-based purchasing. Patients who are depressed have a harder time healing and are more likely to go into the hospital. The dashboard for medication reconciliation is right above this. This is the second highest risk factor that leads to a higher hospitalization rate, the first being fall risk. For seniors over 65, one third will experience a fall every year. Many of those falls are catastrophic, leading to hip fractures, which leads to long-term care placement, and we want to do all that we can to prevent that. When you empower your team with this data, your clinical manager can use this to be a better advocate for patient care. They can mitigate risks and can put patients on care paths directed at reducing risk. Using this dashboard, organizations can make proactive decisions about things like increasing telehealth visits, front-loading visits, or diversifying and adding an additional discipline, such as a home health aid or perhaps occupational therapy. At the top, users can review their top five diagnoses. As a clinical operator, it's extremely important to look at why you're seeing patients and evaluate if your organization has the competency evaluations to meet the patient populations and clinicians qualified to take care of them. If we hover over that light bulb up at the top, it's going to display the details of where this information is pulled from. That's important as well because it gives an accurate picture of the patient population. The clinical team may be talking a lot about orthopedic patients, but the data may actually show something different. This light bulb provides the data for these top five diagnoses and checks if you have a coding issue, which is vital with both PDGM and reimbursement. Additionally, there are several reasons to know where your patients are coming from. Generally, patients are more acute coming from an institution, which is why they're going to pay more in reimbursement. Watch out for that as you think about your staffing and consider using clinical extenders like LPNs and PTAs. Clinically focused operators will appreciate this clinical scorecard. It serves as a base camp to start and end your day. We hope that you'll find this resource valuable as you learn how to optimize our access solutions.
Thank you for joining our on-demand training today. Access is the only home health care technology company approved by the American Nurses Credentialing Center to offer continuing education credits and the most recommended home health software on software advice. You can watch more on-demand training videos through our industry-leading help center or at access.com where you'll find tutorials, blogs, white papers, and answers to frequently asked questions. Access. Empowering care anytime, anywhere.